everyone, Flash here, and I am back from the International Five. I thought I'd do a short vlog on what happened each day while I was there during this great week of Dota 2. So without further ado, let's uh, let's jump in. Alright, so here's me at the airport at JFK, heading over to Seattle. I flew August 2nd in the morning at around 10. Um, I flew Delta, so there was a very dank safety instruction video, and I got to Seattle at around uh, noon, I suppose. So. Um, and yeah, met up with uh, Sing and bumped into Flumi and DPM, so they were heading over to the Westin and we decided to just share a cab, drop them off at their hotel while we went to ours, which was about 20 minutes away. Which was unfortunate because we had built, uh, booked an Airbnb uh, three months in advance, but uh, they got evicted, so <laughs> two weeks before the event I had to rebook and this was um, a little bit more pricey and further away, so. Lesson learned, if you're booking Airbnb, make sure to have a backup hotel as well. So then we decided to get some Indian slash Mediterranean food. <laughs> um, yeah, it was pretty good. It was next to our hotel. This uh, dish here is called Kibi. Just got it because it sounded cute. Um, wasn't particularly cute, but it was pretty tasty. Um, but yeah, I uh, decided to eat some food and then meet up with uh, Singh's longtime um, RPG friend. Uh, yeah, they used to play Ragnarok together. Uh, fleshy, so her and her boyfriend were here for the event as well, and we decided to have this nice uh, double date, sure, if we can call it that, uh, to um, the Space Needle touristy areas and kind of walking along the bay. Uh, there's some cool statues and stuff around. Um, we found this neat rock formation, someone like started stacking it, so we decided to build upon it. No, not nice. <laughs> Fucked it up. Go. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> yeah, so after some rock stacking, you know, take a, a cute picture. Uh, this was the final tower before uh, we accidentally kicked it over. And yeah, we continued to walk around. And it was a very nice day. Water was looked so sh pretty and shiny because the sun was setting. It was like rose gardens, and we were insisting that this thing back here was a water slide, but. Upon closer inspection, it was not. <laughs> but there was also a hippie festival going on, and there's another video or clip of that. <laughs> so then we were hungry again, so we went and got some French food. I forgot what this place was called, uh, but we had like rabbit with spaghetti or something, and it was pretty good. Very nice day. Good start to TI. Um, very full, and then went back to our hotel shortly after. So that was day zero, uh, before the event even started. Alright, so the first official day of the International, and wow, <laughs> what an improvement from last year. The stage looked fantastic, and the crowds, you know, you could see every, uh, see Dota from every side now, and it was, it was phenomenal. Um, they had the opening show with the live orchestra playing the Dota theme. Wish I could see it again, it was fantastic. Um, but yeah, for those of you who don't know, every international, I've gone to three now, this is my third one, um, I cosplay, and this year was, uh, was Sniper, so brought my Agi treads, <laughs> and uh, oh, here are some other pictures, Gabe coming up on the stage, um, but yeah, this was my cosplay this year, Sniper, uh, my previous years were uh, Templar Assassin for TI3 and Legion Commander for TI4, but this was a lot of fun, and also the most comfortable and it only took me about a week to put together, so it was very, very efficient. Um, but yeah, I started bumping into other cosplayers. Here's a tusk, and I didn't quite get it in this picture. Maybe he doesn't have it, but he has a frozen sigil over his head, and it's really cute. I love the idea. And I bump, bump into Max of 2SD. He makes, uh, he made that Enigma video, the short film, so very talented guy. Um, Cotton Wings as well, so uh, Cotton is a good friend of mine. We draw together, <laughs> and yeah, so Went down, went back to, to watch the games. Uh, we watched with Black, you can see him in the corner over here, but uh, Singh decided to try on my beard. So this is a 6.83 nightmare picture. And bumped into a dark seer as well, and his, his beard kept falling off. Actually, no. And a cool TA. There were a lot of n really nice TA sets this year. And this was Lenny, for those of you who didn't see the, the birthday video. He's a uh, meat bone, but good friend of ours. And Sniff as well, <laughs> of course. This was Militia, one of uh, Sung's mods, and my mod too, uh, but yeah, he makes Catbot, uh, so it was great to, to actually meet him in person, and Greed as well. When the games are going on, nobody is in this area. Um, I, it actually felt a lot more crowded, I suppose, 
uh, the previous year. Like, even when games weren't going on, there were a lot of people just wandering about. I bumped into Ashley, who was wearing her female kunta that first day. So if you wanted to take a picture at the right angle, it would look like you were actually in the game, so... <laughs> yeah, that was really cool. I got to... I'm glad I got to get a picture of, the, of that. Uh, yeah, I also bumped into Jess, who was wandering around as well, so I'm glad I got to see her. <laughs> so here are some shitty wizards. I had to get a beard picture with them. Jeremy Lin shows up, right? And that was also the same day, I believe, that MVP uh, made it past their first game. So, um, yeah, they were very happy and we decided to go get some Ding Tai Fung. And here's our massacre of Chinese food and dumplings. We actually ordered way too much, um, but it was delicious. It, yeah, more of, more of dinner. All right, so day two was a lazy day. I didn't wear cosplay and uh, we said, oh, we'll, we'll head over after this pause is over. And as you know, Day two had uh, a big long pause, so we didn't actually get to the arena until round three when we bumped into Danny Dem. So this is him hugging Sam, but yeah, Danny Dem is one of the fantastic workshop artists. If you haven't heard him of him, shame on you. <laughs> you should check out his stuff. I got to meet my long-term friend Emu. Emu was the first friend I ever made on Dota. He added me from Tumblr, and we've been playing Dota ever since, like four years ago now. Odie Pixel as well. He looks so shiny here, actually. And Sir Action Slacks and Cinderin, they were doing some LARPing thing here, I'm not even sure. And then Faceless Rex, which is actually my good friend Danimals in disguise, uh, and there she is underneath it. <laughs> Day 2 was pretty chill, you know, afterwards we just took a nice walk um, towards uh, the West End where we hung out for a bit, um, and uh, Danny Dem needed to like drop off some of the stuff, and we were just mainly hanging out with workshop artists. We were at the West End for a bit, and then we got hungry, so we got some late night buffalo wild wings. Um, and yeah, pretty tasty. So day three, I decided to go as a female sniper instead, because the beard does get a little itchy sometimes, and putting the goggles on my eyes for too long makes me see the world in green. Um, so yeah, I bumped into um, Danimals again in her faceless Rex, and uh, yeah, this was the car ride over. Uh, but yeah, this was, I basically had a white wig, and I also learned that day that it looked much better with my mustache, or my, my beard, so. The wig was uh, definitely a component that was missing from the first day. We uh, met a lot of cosplayers, um, so we all decided to gather at around 10 uh, for this big photo shoot at the backdrop, and Valve staff were taking a lot of photos, and there's a big group one that I will uh, put up here. It was a lot of fun uh, seeing, it was such a good turnout this year compared to the previous two. But yeah, 10 a.m. Uh, till 12, there was a lot of cosplayers hanging around, around here. Um, this was a casual TA that I had to take this picture for Dire Dude. Fluffiest bunny and a uh, little tiny Zeus, which was so adorable. He asked if he could hold my gun, and yeah, he was, he was very, very adorable. Light of Heaven. Uh, battle with Drow, which, oh my god, that bow is insane. Uh, fight with uh, Potom as well. And I found some creeps. So they were really cute. Melee, uh, what was it? No, a Dire and, uh, and Radiant Creep. And a female Pugna as well, TA, which I love what she did with her skin. And then another beard shot, this is all the mustaches and beards we could find at that moment. This female Pudge, which was awesome. And a male Pudge! <laughs> uh, this guy was hilarious, because he was really in character all the time. He male Crystal Maiden. And a bunch of Crystal Maidens, so they all got together for a group shot. A male TA, which was also awesome. And Toffees! And uh, here's some of the workshop. Uh, panels that they would have, and then I bumped into Conrad. I think that's um, H L. I'm not sure how to pronounce his name. Hololius, uh, but he carried this giant cutout of Arise's face. You can see that in the corner here, and they made this sign that says Free Tucker. Uh, but yeah, he gave me a kangaroo plushie. So thank you again, Hololius, if you're listening. Um, I bumped into some of my friends I've played Dota with for like the past three years. Um, yeah, went back to watch the games, and that's when this thing got swarmed by, by fans. So he's been wearing the hat to kind of hide. So he was here for a good one, one and a half hours, just non-stop signing until uh, he had to break away. Actually, what happened was uh, Danny Dem, which from the pictures you can tell, pretty big guy, uh, he comes by to check on him every now and then because we were going to grab dinner together, and uh, he, he comes up to me and said, is there anything I can do? And I was like, I don't know, you can carry him away, like jokingly, right? <laughs> He runs up to him while he's in the middle of a signing. He just carries him over his shoulders and just turns around and leaves the event. And you just see Sing on his shoulders like, Goodbye, everyone! That actually happened. 
<laughs> so there's a line of people still waiting, like as Singh left, like just in disbelief. So sorry if you were in that line, but he was he was there for a while, and hopefully you got him the next time he got swarmed. <laughs> So day five, uh, we bump into Demon Dota, um, and we decide to go get some hot pot. I also uh, called my friend Shy over, which is, he's the most fabulous person I know. <laughs> we went to the secret shop, we bought some stuff, um, Sang got a hat, it was too small, so it's mine now. Yep, and uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, each year, along with their ticket, you also get a goodie bag of stuff. So here's what the bag looks like, which is a... It's an improvement every year. These bags have been getting nicer and nicer. Uh, you get a little autograph book with the Dota logo on it. It's pretty, like, it's uh, embossed, so you can't really see. Uh, this, this is cool. A little wallet card. The uh, emoticon pins. I got this set with Undying Crying, which was fitting, I think, for me. A uh, little booklet catalog. Nice Aegis pin. I like this one a lot. Um, they gave out suntan lotion. The international themed suntan lotion. And a, and a Korean marker. It was a random chance that you would get a gold one. But yeah, um, this year I didn't buy much. I only got this hat, which I didn't even mean to get, and um, a shirt. And a plushie. What plushie did I get? I got Necrolite. Actually, I got Dark Seer first. I need to trade up for a Necrolite, and I don't know. It's better than a Dark Seer. I got stuck again. This time it was it was Snith's fault, so he got a picture with the Arise head, which funnily he told me that someone at the airport actually stole his first Arise head. Like he printed this and brought it, and someone stole it. So someone around the world really liked that picture of Arise's head and enough to take it, and he had to remake this at the, when he got to Seattle. <laughs> and yeah, here's me with the head. I'm an honorary head, head smasher now. The All-Star game was awesome. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad they did that random uh, crowd thing. And when Daddy Dendi was underneath that punch mask, oh my gosh, the crowd just like, went wild. Um, and that end. If you haven't seen the All-Star match yet, I highly recommend it. It's a roller coaster of emotions, and um, it could have, it couldn't have been better. Unless maybe if Pitmore was there, but you know, we'll just have to wait and see. Afterwards, we went to get Brazilian barbecue, and um, that was really good. Uh, like, it's like when they have skewers of meat, and they just go around the table and, you know, just say yes when you want meat. Big group. It was like 13 people. The bill came out to be like 850. All right, and yeah, here, here's everyone. Oh yeah, and Kunko was on the other side as well. He's a little shiny here, but yeah, that's our entire table for the night. So day five was pretty mellow. I was out of cosplay again. And for those days, I just sit and enjoy the games and just the company of whoever I'm watching with. I'm blue blue all the way. You guys know from, the, from my videos and stuff. Merka! I bumped into these uh, Tangos and Clarity Potion cosplay uh, as we were getting to the arena that day. Uh, I was wearing my Techies shirt <laughs> that I got from ESL in hopes that EG would pick them, but of course, you know, and both games, all games from that point on, actually. This was just a view from the, the top here. Uh, there's, you see Asia more with her Venge cosplay, which looked fantastic. Um, the Dazzle cosplay as well. And oh man, I bumped into Dendi. This is actually the first time that I think we got a picture together. Um, even like cosplay or not, but um, it was so funny. I was walking along the, um, the VIP area and he sees me from afar and I'm just like this sniper like walking towards him, right? And he just raises his hands and like... <laughs> flails them and runs away from me and then he's like don't shoot don't shoot he like hides in a corner like behind a door you can't not love that guy and demon of course as well <laughs> a pretty chill day um and uh yeah i guess i can go into a little bit about the vip experience overall um so as you know a lot of the general admission tickets would get random upgrades so that you can go into the vip area and overall um it was a good experience because you know free food <laughs> and uh, decent seats, but most of the team seats are actually on a corner, so you'll see a lot of my pictures, it has like that awkward view where you see two screens and you're right in the center. Um, so that kind of sucked, um, unless you were sitting in the big uh, open VIP area, um, it wasn't really too good of seats. Um, so yeah, I'd say general admission hype 
was so much better because sometimes I would go sit in GA and like everyone would be cheering, you'd say you'd hear people saying random things and it was a lot more interesting to watch in general admission for sure because VIP was the kind of more private experience. I still enjoyed it though and it was a good place to take breaks, get breathers from cosplay and from just walking around. And finally we get to day six, last day of the international EG versus C deck finals. It was a dream come true. I admit I was having nightmares. I was having nightmares the day before that EG had lost in the lower bracket and uh, thank god it pulled through and uh, it wasn't an LGD C deck final. That was the one thing I was like, I was like please just have it be a final. <laughs> USA versus China. What a great series. Um, so much better than last year but you know that one's kind of easy to top. Um, not as good as TI3 Grand Finals. That was, uh, that was special. That was a very special moment but um, it was still a great series. And this was the last day I decided to bring out my sniper cosplay, so very beardy. It's all the tusk again. I got punched here. <laughs> uh, this Legion commander was, was super awesome. She came last year as well, but she had these EG and C deck flags. She the night before she prepared um, all the flag outcomes. Bump into Bruno. <laughs> Saying where's my goggles? Uh, I took this picture because I realized that the ages looked very questionable from certain angles. The stadium was completely full for the finals, um, so much hype, uh, anytime there was a kill or anything, it was just this roar of people. And yeah, this was when they won, I was like screaming, clapping, and of course, you know, since, um, this thing was a C-Deck fan guy, the whole way I was rubbing it in, but though, I feel like, you know, they could have had a longer ceremony, like kind of to just um, drive it home a little bit more, uh, maybe have like families, reactions, or something like, because I know they did that last year, they had them run up to the stage and stand up with them as they're celebrating. Hey, and that's it folks, here's Dead Mouse! <laughs> um, which was, I suppose, a little awkward. Um, you got a bunch of kids standing around, crossed arms, like... Do we dance? Are we supposed to dance? I don't know. Like, a nice set out of context. I think they, it just dragged on for a little too long, or just the timing was weird. Confetti and fireworks. It was awesome. Yeah, we get some Vietnamese food first, just some spring rolls to hold us over. And yeah, we go to the after party. I, s I forgot to bring shoes. I brought a dress, but I didn't bring the right shoes. I only had my sniper boots, so I stayed in my sniper cosplay for or half of it at least for the uh, for the after party. So after party was held in the same place as last year, and um, this time it was a lot more crowded. I have to say, because I think because of all the random ticket upgrades, you had people also bringing in their friends who may have been sitting in general admission or wherever. So it was pretty packed. Um, this was just the inside, and I bumped into Cotton Wings there. I saw a lot of people here as for making a face with the faceless Rex. This was the upstairs area. But it's a very cool interior. I loved it from last year. I'm glad they held it in the same place again since it's right next to Key Arena. And uh, it's a pretty large space, but it was still really full. Lots of drinks, selfies with, with LD. And we were okay, we were trying to do something here. We were like, okay, so S4, you need to come up from the top and be like, <laughs> like upside down, right? This was our best attempt at that though. So, you know, we got one from this side. I went out to the dance floor and oh my god, that bass is like resonating in, in, your, in your chest or whatever. It's just my ears were itching. <laughs> yeah, Dead Mouse redeem redeemed himself here, I think. Yeah, Emu is there as well. I smuggled him in. Um, shy as well. <laughs> so I'm gonna miss these kids. And Renessa and Steven. Yeah, this so was good seeing everyone there. Dumped into Universe though, and animals. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure what's happening here, but I think uh, Sing's getting carried again. Um, yeah, that was that was the uh, the after party. I'm trying to think if there was anything notable this year. It was mostly just chilling, talking with everyone. Uh, there's of course a lot of reshuffling talk happening already. It was a lot of fun. Um, it gets better every year, I think. Um, yeah. <laughs> So the next morning, we got some Mickey D's. Um, I know this the last stream I did before um, heading over to TI, I said it would be funded toward our uh, 
a McDonald's steak meal and you know what it actually happened <laughs> so we got some McDonald's breakfast so thank you for those of you who contributed to that um, but yeah this was the hotel we stayed at and then I had the whole day to kill so I decided to head over to the Westin where uh, a lot of the players workshop artists where they were all staying um, just to chill and hang out until my flight. Here's just a picture of that last day. Um, I learned how to play Settlers of Catan. It's pretty fun. A great use of, of time really instead of just going to the SeaTac airport and being stranded like a lot of people were I heard. But yeah, that was pretty much it. Um, there's a whole bunch of other pictures I guess on my Instagram and uh, Twitter. Like I retweeted some other pictures that people took. Uh, but yeah, it was a. I had such a fun week. I'm sad it's over. The blues, the post TI5 blues are hitting me hard already. But I plan to stream some more and make more par parodies. Um, there's actually one on the way, or two maybe. Um, but I've been debating whether I want to do a TI parody. And if you have any suggestions for songs, I am very open to them. So feel free to shoot them my way. If there's any questions you guys have, feel free to ask, and I'll do my best to answer as well. But. Otherwise, I will see you on stream. It was a great week of Dota and, uh, and friends. Looking forward to TI6. New goal. Hopefully I'll be there. Uh, not as general admission, not as a VIP, but you know, something else. <laughs> Workshop next. Uh, that's, that's the goal for next year, but we'll see. Alright, well, thanks for watching, and peace out.